trial. Okay, half of bullet is me um, just messing around. Say it is. But um, in general, I play tons of bad moves in bullet that are very trappy. My opponent misses something, they can get punished really badly for it. And it's not that I'm playing good chess, I'm just outplaying my opponent. Can't exactly get away with that same nonsense in blitz chess. Although, being that it's Friday, I'm kind of trying to do that. Shuffle some pieces and see what happens. But, I'm playing competitive Blitz Chess. I don't go for that kind of thing. The trick here is that E6 is hanging, so now I win as Queen. Like I said, I'm not playing objectively good moves. I'm just trying to outplay my opponent and take advantage of the fact that I know what he's thinking. I know what he's not looking at. So many low rate players don't look at so many things. They don't consider that. Um, well, often they miss that recaptures aren't for. Also, often they'll miss that. Um, like retreating moves can be strong too. If I can combine a capture with an in between, and I can combine that somehow with a retreating move, uh, more often than not, it just works. Or not. Um, That is one cooped up king. <laughs> He's got to play rook d6, but so this is sketchy. How do I increase pressure further? If I can. I don't see a way to do it. So this would increase pressure on g6. But his dilemma here is that he can't move out of the pin. Like his knight's pinned. But if the knight, the knight can't move, but also the king can't move. Either of these two pieces, knight or the king, can move, and the rook has nowhere to go. Could shuffle along the rank, but there's still tons of pressure pointing in this direction. I threaten mate in one different ways. Can't really, I don't see, yeah. That's. Okay, so I'm in third place. Bishop c5 now. Oh yes, we have transposed into the Italian opening up a tempo. Oh, this is wonderful. This is like many players play against the Italian and unwittingly accidentally give up a tempo one way or another, but this is way stronger. 
I have no idea how strong this attack is. Against a totally docile opponent. I'll show you exactly how destructive this can be. Knight has to go back. Now he has to get out of this attack. So he's still got to push the F pawn or move his knight back. Knight goes back. Developed. And now that he's pushed his F pawn. Cash open the king side. I think I can even play knight g5 here. Threatening check and check and mate somehow. So, yeah, in my opinion, this Italian opening is like super lethal. Not just lethal, I'm going to bookmark that. Check it out later. I've bookmarked that game. Yeah. So that's where I think that speed chess, be it bullet, be it whatever, can be useful. Learning openings. It's smashed like that before the game even starts. If you're getting wiped off the board, you're going to learn from that. I don't care how high or low rated you are, if you get completely wiped off the board before you even get to castle, we're going to learn that opening. My opponent's going to learn this King's Gambit right now. Learn At least the King's Gambit declined with Bishop c5. After this game, I would be surprised if he didn't take some time. All right, so I'm going to play the Grunfeld. I don't know the Grunfeld that well. So if he plays something aggressive against it, I'm not totally sure what to do. But he didn't. He didn't bite. So I'm not actually going to end up learning much Grunfeld at all here. Um, he did, however, move his bishop, so now I take there. Takes. I take here. Knight takes, and I play knight c6. Seven. Yeah, queen c7 first, then maybe rook d8. So my opponent, um, I don't know. Being kind of agreeable here. Letting me get away with a lot of moves. He has to move his queen. Look this up later. By that I mean I'm being after the games I never get it. But uh, if I cared about improving at the game. So kind of atypical. I don't have any whether anywhere else to move my bishop. I don't want to provoke e4. I I got hooked on bullet and I should have played like knight d5 or thought about it. Way too fast for the calm down a bit. The whole calming down thing isn't happening. Knight d5. Probably going to exchange everything. Rook will. Yeah, well, 
I don't know, I do like that this is kind of instructive. Not a case of me really knowing this per se. Be being aware of what my opponent's up to. Maybe I'm giving myself too little credit. Maybe I do have more domain specific knowledge. Knowing more than my opponent. But he didn't go for any of the critical lines of the Grunfeld. So I brought the fight to him instead of him. going to commit to playing passively like that, you need to calculate accurately. I'm not going to try to play theoretical moves. Play subpar moves. You should have. Because your opponent will challenge you. If you don't have an idea, your opponent's going to find an found the right one, but they're going to find something. I think. Better that you have an idea of what's happening next. Your opponent has all the ideas. Yeah, now this was why I wanted to play knight d5 earlier, so I could get this bishop over to c6, because it's really nice. Grinfeld, you always have the other bishop here, but this got both my bishops developed. Pretty cool. I just want to get my queen. I don't see a way to do it. Probably isn't a way. Um, but I can centralize my queen. No, I'm not threatening to take the knight. Don't really get anywhere. Um, offering a queen exchange. I'm seriously considering accepting, but I have a space edge, so no, so it really bugs me that on the board. I decline. I'd go back here, I guess. Bugs me that he has so many active pieces that I'm. I don't know. It feels quite dangerous for me. But this is the way for me to preserve an edge. If I just trade queens, I have no edge. Oh, so my bishop, formerly posted on this diagonal, drops back to the other diagonal. Now we're cooking with gas. Now I've got all kinds of shots against the... Now if he plays like his queen in the way, f4... Box. What happens next? But threats abound. Yeah. So how do I increase this pressure? Not sure. Uh, F three. I guess I sack my e pawn.
Ah, there's more than one way to G2. Yeah, no, trading queens didn't look bad. Um, I just think that my edge there was really negligible in the context of a blitz game. In a longer game, sure, trading queens would have been fully worth considering. But in blitz, you want to keep active pieces. Activity is pretty paramount in Blitz. Like here, okay, I give up the D pawn. Whatever. Bishop pair. Got an extra tempo. Okay, that's good on his part. He caught that. I just need to develop, not worry about that I'm down upon. I can do to further my piece activity. I should say, like, also, in the context of the arena, trying to win games quickly, um, you, you can grind out a game with a... Sure. But winning quickly involves um, tactical chances. Take my pawn. That'd be so cool. Actually, it might not work for me. I'm going to check him here, but his knight can block on e4. I'm threatening bishop f3 mate. Stop it? Or does he just resign? Calls for it. Yeah, you tend to win in the arena much quicker if you just go for all the tactical shots. Really push things to the edge and don't miss any tactic. Miss a tactic, you lose a game. Uh, so I've been doing chess for quite a while now. Nervous to try some of my other games, in part because I'm afraid my audience might go. Also in part because I'm afraid the stream might crash. Actually, I had my Steam game list up earlier. I know there's not going to be a dull moment in this act, but...
five. I have to do it like this. Not sure why I really want to push F five. Other than it looks fun. I appear to have gotten quite an audience here. In around on Lee Chess. Not winning some tournaments. I think that's pretty much the full complement of everything that exists. Not winning. We're not playing tournaments. I want to push f5. Yeah, this this does not trap my queen. The queen e8. Allow me to take back on f5. Oh. Thing that I went for here is super sketchy. Light somewhere and then five. Or he played five and then who knows. Well, I tried to calculate that. Calculate some of the more um, variations of that. I went for this. Oh, but I mean, I'm not because this is I'm double attack tactics. Yeah, don't see a tactic until you have to. It's up to be a tactic that works in your favor. Or I'm just operating on the general principle that oh yeah, I need to get the F pawn. I need to. Clear out this side. I need to get my pieces active. I didn't even worry about my D pawn. Really, losing is devastating, um, especially if the H pawn. Not where he's got like knight G6 and then five mate or something. Uh, especially if my D pawn isn't. But his attack is just too slow. Oh. Oh, so I said I had my Steam game list. Open Steam. Capture the game list. Okay, so he's attempting to play Knight G6. I mean, he's probably going to play it. So, knight g6 there, and then he takes my rook, and I'm okay. This was resourceful. Found queen h5. Play knight g6 now. Okay. Now he's kind of in trouble. Sure, my bishop is off sides. My knight doesn't really do much at the moment, other than guard e5. But he'll unwind quickly. Can't develop faster than I can. I mean, you can maybe get the one rook into play faster, but in general, I'm not going to have challenges developing. If I did, I'd just take on d4. So, yeah, I take back. He takes my queen. Back. He takes my pawn. I don't know. I do something.
does get a lot of piece activity, I guess. Um, he's getting enough piece activity that I kind of want to give some material back. Okay, here we go. Knight takes. Oh, not up nearly as much material as I used to be up, but my pieces are pretty active. Give up a knight for two pawns. Currently up one pawn while I'm up. And now I'm up a rook. <laughs> King f1 is forced. And I don't know, this check? The wrong check. But he didn't calculate it, I didn't calculate it. There was... The other check was better. Yeah, there's my list of games. I'd be tempted to play any of those. Also tempted, well, I need to do a couple personal things here that might take, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. So after this tournament, I'm going to take a short break, take care of some personal issues, items or whatever, tasks. Uh, and then once that's taken care of, I'll come back and do something else here. Apparently winning at Blitz and Bullet, while quite fun, quite, quite entertaining, um, just being really mean to my opponent. More to life than Blitz chess guy. Addicting, stress relieving, and stress inducing too. Yeah! I won! Won a game! Whenever somebody gets paired against the tournament leader, they're like, oh, I'm not going to win this game. Give me a different pairing. Fine. Two in a row! Oh yeah, who's going to win this tournament? I'm the best for now, maybe. It's just ridiculous. People don't want to get paired against me. They're so interested in getting paired against other people. This happened to other players too. All right. Yeah, now I'm leading the tournament by 12 points. Four. H5. Wait, this isn't bullet. What am I doing? I do this in bullet. This H4, H5 hack against the peer. I've actually had trouble with it in blitz uh, on the black side. So this is why I'm playing this repeatedly until somebody demonstrates to me how do you defeat it. Um, so I guess the saying is, if you can't beat them, join them. That's what I'm doing by playing that. Not saying that it's a good move, but I'm saying it's quite annoying, and I haven't found a good way to defeat it yet. And like I've got less than a 50% rate, so I, I tend to lose against that hack. Um, so that either means that it's good, or that I just haven't figured it out yet. I have a hard time believing that this hack is actually that good. It looks pretty cool, but I question its soundness. Like, I would kind of weep for chess if that were actually a strong attack. Aha! I'm not really a genius. This fork? Oh, is that fork cute? 
bookmarking that. Uh, I think Ace Rook would be ashamed how much I'm hooking people. Ace Rook of all players. Who uh, you at the things that I'm doing here. Doesn't actually win any material. Poses a lot of problems. The, mm, wait. Yeah, queen check. Takes knight. Eight. Oh yeah! That was cool. Alright. I'm leading by 16 points. Down on everybody. Actually got back over 2,000. I wasn't really. I didn't really care about my rating. Around. Although, I say I don't care about my rating. What I care about is I don't like losing. I really do not like losing. Uh, that's so. Much about my rating is just. I have difficulty where I get crushed and I have no idea what happened. That's the sort of thing that bothers me. But losing rating points, I couldn't really care about. And he has to figure out what he's going to do. He's going to try to hold the or is difficult to defend. Not paying attention, it just hangs. I'll tell you how many times my opponents have hung that deep. Now what do I do? Go back. One. Knight's not supported on E5 anymore. By exchange. I can get in d5. Actually d6 because d5 would hang the d pawn. Up one pawn. Fine from this. Feels like I'm up more than a pawn because I'm playing black and I'm up a pawn. Much stronger feeling of euphoria. I'm just up one pawn. Does knight e4? No. In that case, there's in his knight. Does knight e5 here, thinking he's playing? Really want to pin and win the knight. Not happening. Have to do that. Oh, rook takes. That was highly unexpected. Okay.
wants me to demonstrate winning technology. That's what he's kind of asking me to do. So that this and the trick here is that these pawns move very quickly. Might not look like it, but they are quite a threatening force. Step off the back rank so I don't get checks there. I could win the pawn endgame. That general knowledge is really useful. Guides all the tactics that flow in the Yeah, the reason I played queen c6 is so I could play b5. But I'm having second thoughts about playing b5. Second thoughts are because he gets a lot of peace activity too. So I've got to go for this. Kind of sad. What exists in this position? I have a past D pawn. That's what I have to work with. Really, all I've got to work with here. Tricky to try to advance here because there's perpetual check opportunities everywhere. Um, Right there, see, he's got queen d5, and it's difficult for me to. Although might have something. He really pushing the envelope to get my C pawn. Really dangerous. But I'm playing to have fun. And now there's no check on the diagonal. Oh, right, you could just take that. Bad. Now I'm the one playing for a perpetual. Now there's no check on this diagonal. I check. Step back.
I'll just say that queen endgames are tricky. You know, I couldn't tell you why so few people are chatting. I think these, I think there's a lot that can be said about them. Um, I think maybe just my monologue has lulled everybody to sleep. Why do I trade queens, you ask? It's because I win as rook. And I found a way to win more than good enough to win. So, yeah, I didn't bother to look for... Okay, take my pawn. Have it. You can have all my pawns. You can't have my king! You can take my pawns, but you can't have my freedom. A rook, oh. Okay, bishop b6. Abrupt change in plan. I can confuse my... Oh, my other rook. I'll bring my bishop back here. Much spirit as I do. Except even I might have conceded this. Something to want to play something clever back here. Got all his pieces into a two by three clump. Yeah, there was no useful sack. Now I take F2. There is a rook D1 check now to follow.
He has no checks that can destroy me here. In fact, I'm threatening H4 me. I was kind of forced for that. Sounding how an opponent will know. He's not walking into mate, is he? I have no mate. Thought that rook h1 would be. Okay, though, king takes h4 is quite brazen. Given how resourceful he's been so far, it makes no sense that he can walk into mate like that. Oh, he's gonna. A jerk. Put this out. Okay, so I only win the tournament by 12 points.